at this beautiful lunch. We've got my Brussels sprouts with butter spray on it and also the Thanksgiving spice and the, did I say butter spray already? Butter spray, Thanksgiving spice, salt and pepper. And over here, we've got this lovely watermelon chicken salad with some wonton crisps on top. And of course, my fat-free refried beans in there somewhere as like a mushy sort of dressing type thing is it too early for christmas um some people might say yes but the way i see it we need all the christmas spirit we can get when it gets cold and gray and dark and stuff so that's what we're doing case in point my beautiful christmas tree that i put up yesterday we are going with a teeny tiny teeny tiny Christmas tree this year because we will be spending Christmas in Finland so we're not gonna like put up the huge Christmas tree that we have because that's a lot of work when we're not even gonna be here over the actual Christmas holiday so I settled for this little guy which is like this big very cute I put all of the um, ornaments in it that we buy every year so like every year we'll buy a special ornament that signifies what happened during that year so like this year we'll probably buy something finland related because it'll be the first time my husband visits my home country and meets all my family and all that good stuff last year we moved to new york so we got a new york ornament etc etc i uh tried out my new palette this morning as you can tell it's a little bit more daring of an eyeshadow situation today it is the juvia culture eye palette and i got it for myself for a birth for a birthday gift <laughs> it has a lot of beautiful 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 colors in it and i'm so excited to try them all but i tried a little bit of a pink and green situation today it's been um a little while since i did a normal vlog and i've missed vlogging so much every time i go longer than like two weeks without vlogging i'm like damn i really miss it so uh that's what's happening just a normal good old vlog and maybe some training and uh stuff like that it's been happening since last i vlogged i turned 30 i had three very success successful um celebrate celebratory days so definitely celebrated well and with a lot of food so i was up a bit in weight these past two uh times i checked in but i anticipate fluctuation like i mentioned not only because of food but also because of like current weird situation with my body and the fact that um it is still kind of recovering hormonally and mentally and physically and all of that my recovery has been really really bad lately in terms of like recovering after training sessions even though i'm eating more it's still not recovering really well even though i'm doing the same recovery routines and not i wouldn't say i'm lifting super heavy yet like i i'm not there yet when it comes to my training i am maybe 75 to 80 percent back to my normal self in the gym it's definitely been a struggle to just get back to normal mentality when it comes to the gym and just like going hard at it and stuff like that it's been a struggle mentally and physically but we're getting there we're getting better i feel better now compared to last time i talked about this on the channel so, um, things are looking up. Same energy. Work on being better when I'm 70. 
your drip is just a water spring You know I drip different, this the seven seas I deal with life different, make that limit squeeze Went on for my style and identity Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we going way up I got his, his band like I'm Barry Bonds Running through the money, but the money's long I don't love it, but I need it, keep it coming on Only friendly, me and friends, we don't get along I put that on my name, that I put them on I put myself on stage as they sing along I might book a session, do a hundred songs I'ma let you hear them just to prove you wrong On track, now we going way up Double use is easy as a layup Fucking late, stay up I just got my Vital Apparel set. They launched three new colorways and I got this like Christmassy green color. Kind of matches the tree. So I got these pocket leggings and I got this halter neck sports bra that I'm so excited to finally own. I love a halter neck sports bra, especially for like back days. Show off that beautiful back. Pretty standard I would say we have some zucchini with a spring mix and chicken in here supplements here and here is just some oatmeal with almond butter and like salt on top which has been my most recent obsession like salted almond butter which I salt even more because I'm obsessed with salt, what can I say? Okay, lunchtime is upon us. And I will have a nice and voluminous um, lunch because I want it. Since my macros are much more, you know, like widespread and fun, I um, can afford to do that. That was a hard sentence for me to say, apparently. Just making a, a little tuna salad with avocado and watermelon. And then for an appetizer, I'm gonna have some rice cakes with a laughing cow cheese. I calculate like one laughing cow cheese works with four of these and it's like the perfect cheese or spread to cake ratio so that's what i'm doing for that then for dessert i'm gonna have one of my all-time favorite um snacks which is just frozen berries with 
raisins ideally the raisins have been in the fridge so that they're like hard and chewy and the coldness from the frozen berries they should not be thawed will add to that frozenness and then pouring this over paired with some sweetener and cinnamon and it just becomes this like mushy greatness bowl yeah i've had that snack for like years and years and years i never tire of it it's a great little treat so that is going to be my lunch i'm also wearing my birthday sweatshirt so uh as a tradition me and my husband go to a bookstore every single time i have a birthday <laughs> Um, aka once a year like our tradition is to buy me a book every year for my birthday and um, this year we went to the pickle bookstore um, which is in the Lower East Side and it's a fantastic concept because if you donate books to them they will give you a free jar of pickles and they also sell pickles and it's just like nice like they have old books like used books um and pickles everywhere it's just a fantastic concept for a pickle lover like myself so that's where we went if you're wondering what i'm struggling with i'm trying to like cut this watermelon piece off this little piece he loves watermelon so i'm probably gonna give him like the little peel here We also got them the cat calendar. I think I showed you guys in the intro um, that we got the cat calendar. And since we won't be here for Christmas, we've started like opening it from the wrong end. So like we've opened number 25 and 24. Um, and they love those snacks so much. So um, that's also been something they've gotten lately. Okay, Carter has his watermelon. I have my watermelon inside of my bowl. I'm really concerned. My camera literally just fell off of the counter and now the lens won't close and it's making like a very sad sound when I try to restart it. That is not good. All right, so essentially I just broke my camera. <laughs> that was great. That was not great. I don't really know how to fix it, but I will Google it and figure something out because that's what we do. Wonderful fall vibes. So my latest makeup purchase is this palette from Juvia's Place. Damn, it is so versatile and good and like high quality. I'm so stoked. I am wearing one of the shades, well, two of the shades uh, right now. The Christmassy, um, Christmassy green ones. Okay, I can't pronounce them, but the most Christmas looking ones, the green ones here is what I'm wearing right now among other things and i just love it there's like look at all the colors insanity i'm so pleased with this purchase i have to do this vlog on my phone just kind of wrap things up a little bit because as you saw i broke my camera it is still broken that is straight up not a good time so i'm just gonna do the rest of this vlog on my phone so i apologize in advance for any subpar quality it's friday right now i um had a decent leg session today my training like i mentioned in my previous like off-season update um video training uh, was not feeling the best but the past like two three weeks it's slowly but surely started to feel much much better so that is something i'm very thankful for i'm not in a position yet where i do like crazy prs and stuff like that but hopefully i will get back to at least my baseline strength 
soon and then start building PRs from there. I'm still like in this weird kind of state where I don't feel completely good in my body. I still don't have my period back and things like that. So I'm hoping that my next vlog where I do like a normal off season update and everything, I'll actually have stuff to share with you guys because right now there is not much to share. I just wanted to kind of check in and do a vlog because I really, really miss vlogging. There's just not a lot of cool prep related updates happening right now, not prep related, but like um, training and physical sport updates right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what's happening here. Powering through at the gym, starting to feel a little better, still waiting for my body to feel better hormonally. Still have not done the GI mapping and things like that. I will probably do that as soon as I get back from Finland, which is where I'm going in December over Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that. I will be there for almost a full month and then when I get back here to the US, I will just jump on all of that. Hopefully I get my camera fixed and if not, uh, on today's agenda is um, I have a podcast interview in a few hours that I can link in the description box if you guys want to listen to that. Then just a nice Friday night with my boo. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the next one has a functioning camera in it.